A very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us again in this tutorial where we are going to learn how to withdraw money from Coinbase wallet to your bank account. So with Coinbase wallet, you are able to do a few things including control your crypto. Coinbase wallet is a self-custody wallet giving you complete control of your crypto. You can also store all your NFTs safely and you can view all your Ethereum and Polygon NFTs right into your wallet. You can also get the industry leading security and this way your crypto is safe and secure. And then it works with Coinbase. You already have a Coinbase. You can link it to your account for easy access of your crypto. So you will come to coinbase.com forward slash wallet and that link is available in the description of this video. Then at the top here, you will click on download, but also down here, if you scroll down, you notice we also have download Coinbase wallet. You'll click on that. And then you'll now be able to download the Coinbase wallet either for iOS, for Android, or for Chrome. So you can use any, but I'm using Chrome, so I'll download for Chrome. So you click on that. And then you notice it's here, the Coinbase wallet extension. So it will be added as an extension to your browser. Click on add to Chrome and then you click on add extension here. And there it is. You notice now we have our Coinbase wallet extension has been added to Chrome. You can right click that and pin it if you want to pin it. And it's advisable that you pin it. And this is how it will appear. You notice we have create a new wallet, or if you already have a wallet, you can click on the second part. We want to create a new wallet, so I'll click on create a new wallet. Then as a security feature, you will have these 12 words as a password manager. So you need to write them down and store them somewhere because if you lose them, you may not be able to recover your account. You can click on this show icon to see your words and I can just do that because this is just a sample account. Then I'll copy them and then go and paste them somewhere. I'll paste them here in Word document. I'll paste them there in the Word document. Then come back here, click I understand, then click on continue. So you notice you saved it right. Verify that you saved your secret recovery phrase by clicking on the first and the last word. So because I saved them here, I can see my first word is wonder. And the second word is kick. So I'll come back here, click on wonder, and then kick, and then click on submit. And then now I'll enter my password here. I can now set my password here and repeat it down here. So I'll do that. And then click on agree to the terms, and then click on submit. And now this process will help create a wallet. And you now notice my wallet is ready. So I can claim this offer. But for now, I'll just click on, I'll do it later. But you can also claim the offer so that you can claim your free username. I'll do that later myself. And now with this, you notice now I'm in my Coinbase wallet. And at the top here, we can buy, swap, bridge, send, or receive. Then down here, we have an option to add your crypto currency. And then down here, we have assets, transactions, explore community and settings. So again, at the top here, you notice we have, you can view your cryptos here. You can also view your NFTs here. So if you want to buy an, an NFT, you click on NFT, then you scroll down here. You want to buy an NFT, add crypto to your wallet. So currently I have not added any, so but that's how you buy the cryptos. That's how you buy the NFTs. So I'll click on settings here. So you notice with settings, you can access a few things about your Coinbase wallet. So you can get the token allowances. And remember the recovery phrase, you can view it here, the one we saved. And then down here, you can manage your notifications, you can change your settings. For instance, currently, the theme is dark. So you notice it's dark here. I can put it light. You notice now it's light. But I want it to just be dark for contrast with the other things. So you can change that in terms of appearance. And then down here, you can change your currency. This way you change your currency from either USD to whichever other. You notice we have all these other currencies. 
you can select the one that you want to use as your currency and a few other things like changing your password that you can also do under settings. So for transactions, if you click on transactions down here, you notice we don't have any transactions, but if you conduct any transaction, this is where your transaction will appear. Now for assets, now this is where we began. So to buy cryptos using Coinbase wallet, you click on buy at the top here, ensure that you are on crypto part here. So you can click on buy and then add crypto down here. You can add crypto with Coinbase or you can transfer from another wallet. So if I click on add crypto with Coinbase, it will lead me now to this part where I'm now supposed to sign in to Coinbase. And in case this is not my device, again, I can use a different thing. Now, uh, so that's how you join that. So I'll click back here. And then I can also do the swap. So now to swap, you, you can add crypto from your Coinbase wallet to another wallet. And to swap, for instance, you can, if you have your crypto in terms of Ethereum or USDT, you can swap that from one to the other plus all other forms of cryptos that you can swap. So you can swap that from another wallet. If you have another wallet, you can select it here. Your Ethereum address, if you have the Ethereum, if you have Solana, if you have Bitcoin, if you have Dogecoin, whatever it is, you are going to select it from here. For instance, if we had Bitcoin, we would basically come and click on this address, then that link will be copied, or we can click on this one and then scan this code, and then our Bitcoin will be added here, our Bitcoin crypto here, and then we'll be able now to do the swap there. So we can also send money. So we can also bridge here. If you want to bridge, you click on bridge, and then you can now again do the same if you transfer from another wallet. So to send cryptos, you click on send, and then add crypto with Coinbase Pay, the same way we did if it's from another wallet, you can click on from another wallet, maybe it's from Ethereum. You click on Ethereum there. You can also copy this code and then you are able to do that. If you want to receive from Coinbase, you click on the top there. And then again, you just click it the same way we have done. You can also search at the top here. If you want to quickly search what you want to, to locate, maybe you want Ethereum. You can simply type there Ethereum. And then you can now get your Ethereum or Ethereum, whatever you want here you just select on it. Maybe you, you want the Ether King, you can copy this or you can scan this now with your mobile device. So if you want to add these wallets that we were saying here, how do you add them? You simply come at the top here where we have address one, you click on that, then you click on add and manage wallets, you click on that. So this way you can now add and manage wallets. For instance, you want to import a wallet or to connect a ledger wallet or to create a new wallet. This is what this is where you do all that. Finally, you can view your networks down here. If you click on networks, you can now view your networks here in terms of mainnets or testnets. You notice here like my networks, I have Ethereum. If now I click on those three dots, I'm able to add the network name, the link here, the chain ID, and I can see all these details. And some networks may be used for malicious purpose. So we only add the ones that we trust. I can click on save so that that network now is added. So that is simply how you use Coinbase wallet. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.